Hey everyone, Ronnie Chavez here and today we're going to be going over 10 ways to climb a wall or a building or different types of structures to get you on top of a type of structure. So anyways, let's go over these 10 techniques starting with our very basic, the wall run. Now I have a tutorial on the wall run already, but just to go over it briefly, you're basically using your momentum running straight at a wall, not head first, but foot first so that you can plant off that wall with your foot, get so much height and power to land your hands on top and pull yourself up into a wall climb. So that's our first way to climb up a wall, is just the basic wall run to wall climb. Alright, our next technique for climbing a wall is when you have something to grab onto but still need to go higher, we're going to be doing what's called a dyno. So you're going to be using your pulling motion with your hands and pushing with your feet to jump while hanging on a wall to leap up and grab higher on the wall. Here we're just going to be doing it with this handrail, which you normally can just climb up, but I'm actually going to be doing the dyno with it to demonstrate. All right, so for our next wall climb technique, this is actually when you have two walls close enough together that you can actually wedge your body between the two walls. And the first technique, depending on how close the walls are, are the split leg technique. And I'm gonna do that right here. What it is basically, is you're going to be placing both of your feet on opposite walls and wedging yourself between it like this. Make sure you have grippy surface to work with here because you're gonna have to put a lot of pressure into it and make sure you don't slip. And then you can also use your hands to kind of wedge your body as well. And that's what's gonna help kind of lift yourself up to plant your feet higher and continue the ascent. When doing the split leg body wedge, wall climb, whatever you wanna call it, just make sure that you don't go higher than you're comfortable dropping down from because you never know if there's that chance that you'll hit a spot where your foot slips and it's also a lot harder coming down anyway, so make sure that you never go higher than you're ready to take the drop to your feet, because that can happen. Alright, the next technique is still a body wedge between two walls, but it's when the walls are farther apart. So you're going to be using both your hands on one side of the wall and your feet on the other, and then just pushing uh, to create that wedge and holding yourself up, and then you're just kind of walking with your hands and feet to go up. Alright, another wall run type trick is to actually do a wall run 360 grab and then pull yourself up. It's not really efficient in any way. Actually makes the wall climb much harder, but it's just kind of a unique way and a challenging way to climb a wall. So this is the 360 wall run. All right, our next wall climb technique is actually going to be similar to a wall run, only we're starting from a gap jump. So it's a cat leap into a wall pounce wall run wall climb. So basically, it's when you jump across a distance hitting into a wall and you're use, once again using your momentum to reach up and grab the top of the wall and pull yourself up, only we're starting with a cat leap. So we went over how you do the split leg shimmy or the full body, but maybe it's even farther apart. Maybe it's a bit wider where it's more difficult to actually do this technique. Um, like here, I'm barely reaching, so I'm just gonna be inching my way up. So a much faster way would be to do the Prince of Persia tic-tac, tic-tac, cat leap. So basically what you'll be doing is tic-tacking off one wall to the other and then back again to just try and get as much height as possible.
All right, for this next technique, it's gonna require a very specific situation, but you might come across it occasionally. It's the underhang. It's when you have a weird wall just jutting out enough that you can actually hook underneath that wall and wedge yourself um, in a weird way to climb up. So that's actually the only way you can climb up right here. So I'm gonna demonstrate it right now. Now the scary thing with this is if you miss your hands, you have to be leaning backwards to get that wedge so that you can hold yourself up. And then from here, depending on where you're going, you just pull and then grab the next spot. And then from there, it's just normal climbing, whatever the structure is. This next one is another awkward situation where there's not very many places you'd actually use it, but there are places where you can find places to use it. So it's when there's a ledge that you have no place to put your feet on the wall, so you have to hang from the ledge, kind of flip yourself upside down, and let the leverage weight of your legs bring you up on top of the wall. So in gymnastics, there's a similar move on a bar called the pullover. So we'll just call this the, the wall pullover or overhang pullover. Um, it's gonna be a bit harder because you have a much thick, thicker object to get past and once you're on top of it because it's flat, you really have to kind of wiggle yourself to get back on. So it's not efficient in being fast, but sometimes it's most the most effective way to climb up on an awkward structure like this. And there you go. All right, for our last wall climb technique, it's actually going to be using a classic pipe drilled into a wall. You're just gonna stick your hands behind it, climb up it with your feet on the wall. You wanna make sure that whenever climbing pipes that it's a sturdy, strong pipe bolted into the wall. You don't want a gutter or plastic or anything that's loose or weak. You just wanna make sure it's solid so that you're not causing any damage and you don't potentially fall and injure yourself. So, here we go. So there you have it, there's your 10 ways to climb a wall or climb a building. Make sure that you aren't trespassing or doing this anywhere where you can get in trouble. Um, and just be safe, have fun doing it because it's fun to learn what you're capable of, what you can climb, and progress. Always remember to progress with these things. Start small and work your way up as you build up the strength and technique to do things better and better. So that's all I got for you today. Be sure to subscribe for more tutorials and thanks for watching.